Greetings from 2K Sports. Get now that we're past the trade deadline, Greg. What's crucial as we head into the All Star break? Well, for teams that traded for players uh, to try to make them comfortable, and, and for teams that stood pad to continue pounding that rock and building chemistry. So the opening lineup for the Heat: the wingmen, it's Hero and Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Highsmith in at the power forward. And so it's the Heat hitting on the board first. He dialed that one up from long distance. It will be a rare night that you're going to outdo Stephen Curry in a game of batching threes. Now the pass to Adebayo. Kicks it out to Hero. That one falls coming off Adebayo's feet. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. Miami's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. They double him with Green. Outside Butler. Get good. Jimmy Butler's got five points so far. This is where Butler thrives. He wants to bully his way inside and get buckets. GA, the three-point shooting for Miami has been the story. Sometimes they run cold, like a lot of teams. Man, when they're hot, they are fun to watch. A couple years back, Kevin, they led the league in percentage from long distance. Last season, one of the worst in that category until the playoffs where they rediscovered that shooting touch. Another miss by Curry. The Heat have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Here's Butler. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. Warriors have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Curry's got his third bucket of the night. Even if you stay attached to Curry beyond the arc, that might not be enough. He's that good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Butler finds Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. His versatility and unselfishness is what makes Jimmy Butler such a talented passer. Curry way outside. It's hauled in by Hero. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Now here's Curry. Against Phoenix, he was really on his game. Good on the three-point shot. Well, coming off the pick, tight, shoulder to shoulder, and then creating space with the dribble. Nice move from Stephen Curry. Pass to Butler. Kicks it out to Hero. Off target from outside. Golden State's gotten a lot of shots off from three-point land in the first quarter, but they're only four if not. Right side Curry. Here's the three. Curry with another miss. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with this offense. Rozier against Curry. And it's Rozier missing. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Another miss by Curry. At some point, when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Hero kicks to Rozier. Back to Hero. Takes the three. Drills it from outside. Hero. Hero's got eight points. Warriors trail by three. And throughout his career, Steve, as we know, Tyler Hero has never been shy of the big moment. He loves it. He thrives in games that are tight at the end. His great off-ball movement allows him to find looks, Kevin. Hero isn't afraid of stepping up with the game on the line. And here is Butler after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. 
115 left in the first. Highsmith the pass to Autobahn. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And you can see he just caught a glimpse of the open man on the perimeter and immediately got in the basket. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Both teams deciding to change it up. And quickly, let's look at the numbers for Adebayo. He's putting up about 20 points per game, 10 rebounds, and 4 assists. And the phrase, stats don't lie, absolutely applies here. He's been a monster on the court for this team. He's versatile. He's prolific. There really isn't much a defense can do once he catches fire. Curry's checked in for Golden State. Now that we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for Kevin Love. We've seen him regress as a rebounder these past few seasons. His numbers have come down in that department, and I'd like to see him concentrate on bringing them back up. I'm sure the team would as well. You can never have enough rebound. Hero against Thompson, and Thompson sends it back. Don't let Clay Thompson scoring overshadow what he gives you at the defensive end. Curry gets the bucket. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Peyton against Hero. The shot by Autobio, no good. The Warriors lead it. Looking around, Green kicks to Curry. 24 seconds left in the first quarter. And no good that time. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Hero passes to Hawkes from past the arc. And it's Looney with the rebound. Now Curry. Launches from deep. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Defensively, I'm impressed with Richardson. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Warriors. 18 points from three-point range for him in that quarter. That is some serious shooting. And we'll be right back after this. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game? The stats was aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. Charge is out there with Looney. Then there's Stephen Kirk. Then there's Peyton. And it's Pajemski in at the shooting guard. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. Hero with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Hero against Curry. That's good. And the Warrior lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Hero. Not lacking confidence. Love seeing Tyler go up strong with this one. And last season, the Warriors' so-called two-timeline approach seemed to fall flat. Who do you think, G.A.? And whether it was chemistry or younger players still growing into their roles, the Warriors are now clear. There's only one timeline, and that's Steph Curry. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Jimmy Butler made some headlines a while back when he said he wished the NBA would allow more of the scrapping we saw in decades time past. Out, time out. So would I. He says that would shoot his game, though. Jimmy said, I want to run into people and see who falls down first. Who's going to quit first? That's the style of basketball I like. Kevin? Yep, you're right. And it shows, D.A., it shows. Thank you so much. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for Golden State. Wiggins comes in for Peyton. And Miami with a change here, too. Rozier, he's checked in for Josh Richardson. Rozier finds love. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Passes it to Hero. Back to Rozier. Shot clock at five. Trains the three-pointer. Rozier's got himself on the board with three there. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. Connects again from distance. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. With the floater. And Hero finishes inside. Hero's got 12. 
when Tyler Hero gets it going, as he has tonight, he can score in bunches. Curry with the bucket. How about the last five main shots have all been three. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Already it's February. I believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. We'll take a look at the Warriors. A season filled with ups and downs. Tenth right now in the conference. The heat. And, and for the Warriors, they had much bigger things in mind when the season started. They didn't think of themselves as a middle of the road club, but right now that's where they are. I thought this might happen. Confidence can take you a long way, but you also have to have the talent to back it up. And Miami has possession. After the missed three from Stephen Curry. Hero kicks to Rozier. Pass to Autobio. And sports may be the ultimate meritocracy. Does it matter where you're from, your trade, your background? Well, you got to have game, right? Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Some players grew up with a father in the NBA. Others were a world away. Either way, when you get here, you know you've earned it. And the basket by Rozier. And we continue to see Rozier taking on more responsibility offensively. Nice finish inside. It's three outside. Good. Another from three. And this parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. Oh, and that latest triple ties him for second for the most threes in a game. What a monster he's been from deep. And he's tied Curry's mark from 2016, which was the top spot for threes in a game for a short while. It's been that kind of takeover display that we've seen here tonight. There is some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. Now here is Martin. He has yet to score. And out of Io throws it down. Assistant. Good communication. Then Martin recognizing and making a great pass. Uh, so the team's changing it up here. Let's see some of the numbers here for Terry Rozier. And guys, he's regressed a little bit offensively. He hasn't been the same this month as he was earlier in the season. He's lacking the edge that he had. And he's changing. And again for three. A shot that puts him at the top of the record. Well, Greg is now tied for the mark for most threes in a single game. In one word, amazing. He passed Curry's high a little earlier, and now he's matched Clay's mark. Didn't think we'd see a show like this coming into tonight, but here we are. Fires away from way out. Connects again from distance. And that is a three that will put him in the record book. A historic performance by a historically good shooter. One of the best games anybody has ever had. And Clay Thompson's mark of 14 set not that long ago has been bested. What a legendary shooting display we've seen. And the Heat making a change here. Timeout called the Warriors. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix in the last game. And the difference in that one, the efficiency from range. They on getting good looks. And if it wasn't there, each guy was willing to make the extra pass. Trust in his teammates. Out of my old finds Butler. That three off the mark. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. 12 straight points off of three pointers and the D chills. So when we're talking about team identity, Great. what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough-nosed, aggressive, and hard working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place. And that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. Hero kicks the butt. Miami no good on that time either. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Curry against Rogier. Hero from long range. The Warriors pull it in. He's pulled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. What can you say? If you start hitting them from that range, there's nothing you can do. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. 
and a wide open look for Hero. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Hero's got 15 points. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Curry can't get it to go. Left side, Hero. Adebayo. Great tee that time from Green. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. And so it's the Golden State Warriors finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Hey, everybody, it's halftime. Boy, it's been a rough go so far. Their perimeter defense has obviously been weak. Plus, they're facing some good shooters. It's the perfect storm right now. And you just wonder. And we've got the playoff pictures. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Curry has been sensational. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Here's your Eric Spolster to start in the second half. The wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Highsmith in at the four. Butler against Wiggins. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. The shot by Curry, no good. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat to the inside. Rozier, the pass to Hero. Tries it from the top of the key. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. Golden State's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Curry can't get it to go. The Heat shooting at 44%, pretty reasonable. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Showing off those hops, Jimmy Butler goes up high to get it done. Here's Curry with the three. Good, another from three. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. For Miami, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. That's the latest, David. Thank you, Kevin. The Miami Heat have battled to deep playoff runs in recent years, and they find the strength in each other to keep fighting. Bam Adebayo says, we depend on each other. Every once in a while, we'll be like, dog, I need to lean on you tonight. And that's what being a team is all about, having those teammates to lean on when you're down. Kevin? Great approach. David, thank you. The pass to Highsmith. Second chance shot. Wiggins with the block. His length gives Wiggins an advantage on the D. He can get his hand to shots that a lot of other players would not be able to impact. And again for three. He has been on the money from D. Yep, definitely looking to shoot it as much as possible. Well, they're passing to Ottawa. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. And it goes on Draymond Green. And recently, Smitty, we've seen Bam Adebayo step it up on the offensive end. Greg is always excited to see a great player take it to another level. He's obviously even more comfortable than ever attacking the hoop. And that one misses. Bam Adebayo has been fairly solid from the line throughout his career. And good! There's another! And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, G.A. really taking it to the opposition. Ogier for three. Warriors with the rebound. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Curry outside, and another three for Golden State. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. To the middle, here's Hero. The kick out to Rozier. Back to Hero. Pass to Butler. Good ball movement here by Miami. Hero with it. 
Adebayo with a screen for Hero. And good that time. Hero. Hero's got 17. That's his signature move, Tyler Hero, using the screen to create just enough separation. Warriors have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. Curry fires from Wake and got it! Another basket! Unreal. He's got the fourth most points ever in an NBA game. This man is on another planet. I mean, what can you say? One of the all-time individual games in NBA history. And, and honestly, guys, I don't know how you stop him. I mean, he's into the mid-70s scoring-wise. Wilt's 78, Kobe's 81, and Wilt's 100 are the only higher-scoring games Jerry ever. Zero, and, and if you're the guy who Three has points. to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Curry outside. And, yep, another basket. And that puts him even for third on the single-game scoring list. Simply amazing. I, I'm at a loss for words. Break. his has been one of the greatest offensive games we'll ever see. And 78 points tying Wilt Chamberlain's big night back in 61. Up next, Kobe Bryant's 81 from 2006. So both teams making some changes here. From deep three-point territory, he got it again. Sensational. The good times keep rolling. Now tied for second all-time in scoring four games. Well, you know, the way he's been able to maintain his focus on offense all game, GA, the defense throws everything at him, but he still is scoring. When Kobe did what he did back in 06, I, I never thought we'd see something like another bucket. Wow! And he is ripping through this defense and continues his assault on the record books. That score moving him clearly into second place for most points in a game. And with 81 in the rearview mirror, he only has the great Will Chamberlain and his 100 mark left, a record nobody thought would be touched. But this is the closest anybody has ever come. Curry can't get it to go. For Miami, they've gone 7-13 in the third quarter so far, just above 50%. Pass to Hawkes. No good on the triple. The Warriors shooting a stellar 60% since the halftime break. It's three outside. Connects again from distance. He's really sniping them from outside. Locked in, feeling confident in that three-point shot. Here's Butler. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Sharich. Now here's Curry from deep three-point land. He doesn't hit that one. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Warriors ahead, running away with this one. Live from Chase Center, you're watching 2K Sports. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. They've got Curry. Peyton is out there with Dario Saric. Then it's Kevon Looney. And it's Pajemski in at the two. So that's the group out there for Golden State. The defense a step slow, and you can see the result. Pass to Autobio. In the corner, it's Robinson. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. Rogier's got his third assist on the night. Huge shot for the young fella. Robinson with a huge triple. And the basket by Kirk. Six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Here's Rogier, and it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his fifth rebound in this one. The three. Curry can't get it to go. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's the pass to Hawkes. Fires the three. Warriors with the rebound. And here is Curry. 
fires from deep. That shot off the mark. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Comes Baz Robinson. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up on Monday. They'll begin a road trip starting in Utah up against the Jams. And then on Wednesday, they'll go up against Russell Westbrook and the Los Angeles Clippers. And looking at the Utah matchup, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference. And both teams will need to be at their best. And the Warriors making a change here. Moody's checked in. Timeout called the Warriors. So it's both teams making substitutions here. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Curry against Rogier. Off target from three-point range. And it's out of bio with the ball for the Heat. Now, here's Rogier. He's guarded closely. Pass to Hockett. And here's Adebayo, guarded by Kirk. Just five on the clock. The shot by Adebayo, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just must face it. And another one. And he's nearing the single game franchise record in score. Absolutely on fire. Already a night to remember and approaching some history to boot. Jerry I mean, Rudy he's just been brilliant today, guys, and it was the same exact story last time out. Rozier against Kirk. And it's off from three-point range. Now, here's Rozier. Not a lot of room. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. A three-pointer off the mark. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Miami's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here on the fourth. Down low, here's Rozier. Misses off the right iron. The Warriors have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Puts up a three. Outside for Curry. Takes a three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Adebayo's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. A bit under three and a half minutes of pass here in the fourth. And with NBA's upcoming broadcasting deal, Steve, starting in 2025, a lot of streaming services vying to carry games. Kevin, we'll see how it plays out. But with those additional media outlets and the bidding, the sense is the next deal could be a doozy. With a time lethal out, out. mix of strength and length, Bam out of bio can Start. wreak havoc down low. Timeout called the Warriors. Curry's checked in. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. From the arc, connects from three-point range. Curry's got 12 points now in the quarter. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. Puts up a deep three. And the rebound goes to Martin. And uh, Miami shooting a pedestrian 36% in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing their best work of late. And the basket by Rozier. And this game has been so smooth for Rozier. He's finding his shots and really taking charge on the floor. It's three outside. Again, what an avalanche. Kevin, I'm disbelief. He set a new all-time record for scoring in a single game. Well, Greg, a record that was for so long thought to be untouchable. He continues to amaze. And Wilt Chamberlain's 100-point game has been surpassed. Pick up the phone. Let everybody know something special has happened here tonight. Tyler, and, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big-time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Warriors. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A 
clinic was put on display here today. And so all the hard work here tonight can put into a tally in the win column. It'll be number 26 on the year. And so they're able to even up the season series at a game apiece with one left to play, exacting a little revenge and really saving face. They did not want to go down 2-0. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Stephen Curry. High-level shot making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. Rozier finds Martin. Back to Rozier. And Adebayo throws it down. A tireless worker. You don't have to call plays for Adebayo for him to score. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Curry, good! And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night trying to shoot himself out of his slump. And it's not going well. From deep. Great to hear the crowd showing their appreciation. We are witnessing something truly remarkable. Well, a scoring game, GA, that ranks with the all-time greats. I, he's just been going off. I don't know if I've ever seen this. Somebody scoring the basketball with this much ease. Nobody can slow him down. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. Once again, thank you. And now, let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much. Stefan, this crowd tonight was energized by the show that you put on. What is that connection like? I have a night like tonight where everything's clicking. Uh, just want to embrace it. And, uh, more of a gesture of appreciation because uh, this is a great place to play. Yeah, it sure is, man, and you guys fed off of it. Thanks. Back to you guys.